This is the step-by-step -step setup guide for your Dreamcade replay. So when you get your Dreamcade, this is how you, once you have it all plugged in and you turn the power button on, this should get you everything from getting through Windows till you can finally play games on the Dreamcade. A little sign in here, no. a touch of Wi-Fi there, no. and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Great. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. Cool. Sh shut your mouth. Okay. Um, all right. So we're going to set this up. Um, I'll probably make some mistakes, especially with Windows security and stuff. So anyways, ginger beer, non-alcoholic. Pretty good. Okay. So United States, yes. So I'm told there's a very special step you have to do coming up where you have to skip the um, you have to skip the part where it asks you to make a Microsoft account. Supposedly you're not supposed to. And I'm sure that has to do with the fact that Dreamcase does not want your Windows doing its own thing. It wants to limit how much Windows installs updates and, and does things. So... Okay. Whew. Drew Talks, big fan. Thanks, got him, bro. Bundaberg is the best. I'll have to try that one. <clears throat> this one was on sale on Amazon, so that's why I gave it a shot. It was a 12-pack for 10 bucks. Realer than the Atari VS. Yeah, it seems like it is. What's up, Righteous? Uh, what's up, Arash Tube? Nice back cover. Thanks. I had to put something on there. So this is part where you want to go sign in with offline account. There you go. So that's an important step right there. Make sure you do offline account. No. Name. Drutox. Uh, no password. No. Uh, I want to do all this off. Apps can be everything off. Okay, yeah. Everything off there. I don't want Microsoft. Get out of my business. Michael, thanks, buddy. Holy cow, a lot of people watching. Yeah, they want to see the Dreamcade in action. And also watch me mess up. Yeah, I got a retail unit. Full retail. All right, here we are. Welcome to Windows. Cool. Loading Dream Arcade setup. Cool. All right, let's see what happens. Oh, geez. Uh, how do I do this without everyone seeing my? I'm gonna I'm gonna black this out really quick just because I don't want you guys knowing my Wi-Fi stuff. So I'm gonna turn off my capture card. Boom. All right. I'm gonna I'm just typing my Wi-Fi really quick. I just don't want you guys seeing the password. Yeah, because it did not black out the password at all. <laughs> connected. All right. All right. I'm going to unblack it out for you. All right. So as you can see, I'm now connected up here. Connected. Next. Okay. Here it is. So this is where you, it's underneath your device. All right, so yeah, this is kind of a long code and I don't want you guys to see, so I'm gonna go ahead and black this out again really quick. I'm just gonna type in my device ID. If you guys are wondering where this is located, it's on the bottom of your device. There's just a little sticker on there. All right, so I got past that last step and then this will be your next step after you enter in your device ID. Um, here, you just gotta select all, submit. So this is gonna install all your, uh, your BIOS files, your PSP support, your Pico games. All right, we're on the card app now, guys. This should be the last one. Okay, we just finished that. All right, so we finished the update stage. Cool, okay, so now we're finally on Windows, and um, I think we could just launch the Dream Arcades app if we want. Let's just see, I think it might, it might just start on its own, though. Yep, it started on its own. Okay, so it's like new controller. Let's go ahead and plug it in and get it set up. Okay, sure. Oh man, it's setting it up on its own. 
I'm not doing anything right now, guys. I wonder if it's going to get it correct. I'm not doing anything. This is the power of artificial intelligence. Now, I'm sure it's running some sort of script, but I'm just going to let it do its thing here, guys. I, my hands are not on the controls or on the keyboard right now. Can you see? Skynet is happening. As we speak, people, you guys are you guys are experiencing it firsthand. So far, the setup's been fairly easy. I think if you have a YouTube video like showing you step by step at the same time. It should be good. So there's a new update available. I don't know if I'm wrong. Let's see if this controller works now. Are you ready? Moment of truth. Yeah, that does not work. <laughs> okay. So it doesn't seem like it got the controller correctly. I didn't expect it to, but my keyboard works. My keyboard works just fine. And I think the mouse works in here too. No, it doesn't. Okay. So let's try up first okay so let's exit to windows there's a couple other things you guys got to do um, that's the other thing I'm gonna go I'm gonna plug in the Dreamcade replay controller just because I don't want to mess with that right now all right so the next thing you want to do is recovery options you want to set up a recovery mode oh uh, they say you want to do that with a that's the next thing you might want to do recovery options by the way, wheat pasta. Thank you. I'm following your tutorial. Um, and then you go here to get started. And then you'll need an eight gigabyte, from what I understand, to um, to go ahead and uh, do some recovery settings. So that's if you want to set up a pass a backup in case something does happen. You can um, set that up so you never have to um, to do it. So create a recovery drive. Oh, I guess this one's already set up. So if you don't have that, set that up. Okay, recovery, done. Next thing. I'm just going through all the setups here. Go to settings. Then they're saying go to, where did this guy go? Apps and features. Okay, oh, you just want to see everything is installed. We can skip this step. All right, next, go to, um, Windows updates. Where is Windows updates? All right, Windows update settings, advanced options. They're saying make sure these are off. Yep, they're already off. Okay. Um, privacy settings, off. Okay, turn those off. And then we want to go back to Windows Updates. Check for updates. All right, well, that's checking. I'm going to get the Dreamcade Replay Controller. All right, Dreamcade Replay Controller. And then I need a power adapter. All right, plugging in the Dreamcade replay controller. Okay. All right, so we do the updates. What else do we have to do? I turn on the updates, turn off the automatic ones, check your privacy settings. Then you want to go to gaming, home, gaming, uh, game mode. Where is it? It's in one of these. Game bar, I think. Yeah, you want to turn this off because if you have an Xbox 360 controller, it's going to mess you up. So you go to Game Bar, turn that off. Open Game Bar using the button controller, okay? And then the last thing you want to do, according to this, is you go to Run, Run, and then System Properties Performance.
dot exe. Here we go. Oh, come on, come back. Run system Did I type that right? System properties performance.exe. Let's see if that worked. Yes. All right, and then you want to do adjust for best performance. Apply. Cool. I think that was the last step we had to do, guys. Hey. Oh, we hit 100. Nice. All right, so the question was, oh, new update available. You guys want to run it? Let's do it. All right, I'm gonna have a seat. Ugh. Come a long way. Okay, we're now up updated. Um, I kind of want to see if I can get this to work. I hope you enjoyed that. Please let me know if you have any questions, comments, concerns. Just post them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.